Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today I'm gonna be going over on how to create your own custom mobs or bosses in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Now, before I do get on with the rest of the video, I do want to say something. I will be making two more parts to this. This is just the most simplest version of it. So uh, yeah, let's get into the video. Woo! So, we're going to start off with the most easiest, the level 1 zombie here. So, let me just put this in there. So, level 1 zombie works. It's pretty simple, okay? Now, I'm going to place him down and he's going to start dying. So, I'm going to place him in here. So, when I place him, he's going to automatically spawn with the chest plate every single time. Nothing else. You will end up spawning with the same thing literally every single time, okay? Which is uh, pretty dope. Uh, pretty uh, interesting. But yeah, so they will do that, you know, just to do so, And you do have a chance of getting their chest plates, but see, I didn't really get them. So, it's like, uh, so I don't know. I guess I'm not getting it. So, whatever. Okay. So, that was the level one. It's actually pretty simple and pretty easy. I'll get how to do that works in a second. Now, the level two one is a little bit more, like, more stuff, which again is super simple and super easy at the same time. This guy is. Does it not. He will spawn randomly with this gear. So, this is what it looks like. And pretty dope, pretty interesting. So, yeah, that's how that works. Definitely hard to kill, and you will definitely get something from his stuff, okay? So, the next one here is the level 3 zombie. Now, this isn't really level 3, it's actually called Patient Zero. So, how this one works is when I place him down. Um, wait, don't look at this. There we go. I'm just gonna him really quickly if I place him down. And I just wait for him to move. I'm just gonna wait for him to move. I'm gonna hit him once. He's gonna move very, very fast. And he will have this ability. So he's super fast. And the fastest one. Now you can make it where he has strength going. But that's pretty much how that works. Okay. So these are just... This is the most simplest way to do it, and then I'll get into more complicated and different episodes. But how the how it works is pretty simple and pretty easy, alright? So the patient, uh, the level one zombie. I'm gonna try to look for the level one. Give me a second, guys. All right. So what this is doing, it's replacing its. Um, so it's replacing entity at entity. So repl so slash replace item space entity at entity, and it makes sure you have those two brackets. Type equals zombie. The comma name equals level one. Okay. And then you have slot dot armor dot chest. So that's replacing his chest plate with zero leather underscore chest plate. So that's just make sure you have the zero. If you have that if you have like one, I don't know, I never tested one. Just make sure you just keep a zero just just for it, right? <clears throat> so yeah. Now the next one is um no, so that's pretty much it. So he only has a chest plate. Okay. Now level two is a little bit more complicated. Okay. So level two works as it's. So what this one's doing is replacing his main hand with a stone pickaxe. Now, if you replace it with, I believe, the offhand. So I'm gonna rename this to offhand. He will, I believe. He should have. Nothing. I don't know. If it's, in the it's something like that. Okay. I'll probably show you that in another episode. Just I don't know. Okay. All right. But again, back to this. Uh, make sure it's main hand zero stone underscore pickaxe. Okay. Now this one is just replacing his chest plate with the chest plate. So I already showed this one off. This one is replacing his leggings with chainmail underscore leggings. So that's what I did for that. Now I don't. I never tested what if you do with items, but. Um, yeah, okay, so make sure you guys just do that, and also make sure you do rename this to whatever you want, so if you don't want this to be level 2, you can rename this to whatever you want, I just put it L2 for a simple, alright, this one, same thing, just helmet, and then .armor head. okay, so it's replacing his head with the helmet, now these ones, I believe, are the patient zero, so this one, Eric, is you're going to do slash effect, add entity, type equals zombie, the comma name equals patient zero with speed 155 true uh if you don't have this true you don't need the true but if you don't have it um if i show you guys here you will end up showing his particle effects so i probably recommend putting it on true 
so he doesn't show you the particle effects. But again, it's completely up to you, okay? And this one up here is just replacing his helmet with the helmet, uh, his head with the helmet. So that's pretty much it for this video. Make sure you give us a subscribe, like. I can I'll be making three more, um, three more videos within the next week on more complicated ways for this on how you can make it more complicated. And uh, yeah, peace out, guys.